So the patient should be aligned by asking them to pop their chin on the chin rest and forehead up against the bar. We're looking to align the outside of the patient's eye with the canthus markers on the sides of the device just here. To do that, we can adjust the height of the table or we can use the chin rest adjustment on the base of the machine. So once we've got the patient lined up comfortably here, we want to check we've got the right mode selected. So here I've got all measurements to be taken, which is RK, NT. I've also got my auto tracking and my auto shot function active. Once I'm happy, I'm gonna use the joystick to line up with the center of the patient's pupil, moving forward until we get little yellow dots. The patient's gonna see an image of a hot air balloon. I'm gonna get them to just look straight ahead towards the hot air balloon while we take our auto refraction and our keratometry measurement. Once one eye is complete, come over to repeat the other eye. Again, just line up with the centre of the pupil, push the machine forward until you've got yellow on the screen there. Get the patient to look straight towards the hot air balloon while it takes the measurements. Once it says finish, you can pull the machine back and it will dip down automatically to move on to our pachymetry and our tonometry readings. We ask the patient to look towards the green flashing light and we push it forward in the same way until we get the little yellow dot in the center and the little yellow lines. Get the patient to look straight ahead, it'll be pachymetry readings first, and then they'll get four puffs of air on each eye. That's it. Keep looking straight ahead, and we just got one more. Brilliant. So the measurement's finished now, and we can see on the screen we've got our average tonometry reading, and we've also got our corrected intraocular pressure based on our central corneal thickness and our pachymetry measurement. Mm -hmm.